The following program is sponsored by Friends of Life Outreach International. Dr. Don Colbert explains the importance of balancing your hormones. So many women say, I feel like I'm 20 again. Wow. I have one lady who's 70, she runs marathons, and she goes to uh, the store with her son, and he's saying, Mom, and people look at her and say, Mom, you're his mom, and they're, <laughs> they're amazed because here's a lady 70 years old, but she looks like she's about 40. The four key areas to optimum wellness in Health Zone Essentials, next on Life Today. Everybody. Welcome to Life Today. I'm Tammy Trent, and this is Randy Robison. Yes, ma'am. It's so good to have you back again today. And if you missed yesterday's program, look, you can go anytime you want to lifetoday.org and catch anything there. But Dr. Don's been with us, and I appreciate him so much. Yeah. There, he's got a brand new book out, uh, Health Zone Essentials, and it is jam-packed with a ton of just incredible information that can literally change your life. Yeah. He has saved the life of so many of my friends, and that's what they've said. He saved mm. my life. Dr. Don, I'm so glad you're here today. And on today's program, we're going to talk about something that's so important to me right now, <laughs> uh, about hormones and thyroid. Uh, and I'm sure it will totally resonate with a lot of people. But can you kind of go back and just kind of catch us up? Well, Tammy, for years, patients have been coming to my office and saying, Dr. Colbert, which is the most most important book of yours I need to read, and I've written over 50. So he said, which one book can I read? And I says, really? You need to read this book and this book and this book and this book. And so finally what I said, well, let me put everything, the key components together in one book, four easy steps. And so what I found is there's four essential steps that people need to follow. And once they start doing this, they will start to optimize their health and they will have great, tremendous health and longevity. And step number one, is to restore your gut. And we do this with key nutrient supplements and food, diet's critical. Number two is to get on a healthy Mediterranean keto diet to maintain and keep your weight down to normal weight and to prevent and reverse most diseases. So the um, Mediterranean keto or keto or Mediterranean diet. We talk about a healthy keto and a healthy Mediterranean diet. Number three is hormone optimization. <laughs> I've compared the energy of a 20 year old versus an 80 year old, a vast difference of ener uh, in energy. When I get that 80 year old's hormones optimized to a 20 year old, it's amazing how their energies are similar. So I use hormone optimization. I teach patients which hormones to optimize to achieve tremendous vitality, health, energy, and longevity. And then last is brain health. As we age, we're more susceptible to Alzheimer's dementia. And so many Christians are being warehoused in nursing homes for dementia. I teach them which foods and supplements and hormones and lifestyle factors that protect their brain and boost brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which restores the brain. And it removes the beta amyloid, which destroys the brain. Mm. It's real simple. And then exercises, stretching exercises to prevent back pain, to maintain good posture, and some core and balance exercises that help. Balance, you said the word balance. If I right. walked into your office today, Dr. Don, <laughs> and you said, what are your symptoms, what, what's going mm -hmm. on? I would say, I feel out of balance. And I think so yeah. many people in the right. world feel out of balance to the point where even the other night when I was studying in my study, uh, you know, I felt sad and, right. and, and I, I never struggle with that. I don't struggle with depression and anxiety, but I felt some things coming on to the point where tears were coming down and I rested my head on the pillow and I was just, I fell asleep there, but I just felt like out of balance, hormonally right. out of balance. I'm 55, right. so I'm starting to go through a lot of changes and I'm right. trying to find that balance in my life. Right. Well, it's interesting, but women undergo uh, three key hormone dominoes that fall in certain areas of their life. At age 40, most women, the first hormone that falls and the domino that falls down is testosterone. Okay. And back when a woman's 20 to 30, their ideal testosterone is 13 to 71. Most women feel their best when their testosterone levels is around 70. So I get my women, my older women who are in their, you know, 
uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I put their, get their testosterone at least to 70, 75, some 100. If they have osteoporosis, I may take them up to 150 or 200. Mm -hmm. And they feel amazing. And I put, it, put them on exercise, it builds their bones back. We reverse a lot of osteoporosis without meds and doing this with the right nutrition. The second hormone domino that falls is around 45, and that's progesterone. Progesterone is that hormone that makes a woman where she's not irritable. It also grows beautiful. Where do we, where do we my, get those? My I want large quantities of those as gifts. Yes, I know. It also helps a woman enter into that deep, refreshing sleep. And it helps their, their mood tremendously. It improves a woman's mood. So progesterone is a second domino. And the third one happens at 50 and most women, and that's estradiol. Now, estradiol falls at 50, and women start to get hot flashes, night sweats, all these symptoms like that. And uh, another hormone starts to take pre, uh, predominance, and that is estrone. Estrone is known as the old lady hormone, or I say the elderly lady <laughs> hormone. Estrone rules with a fist of iron. It causes belly fat back fat, mm. saggy skin, wrinkles, hair loss, dry vagina, and all of these symptoms that women despise. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is we help to balance these key hormones for women and the adrenal hormones. This is the big hormone. Most women's adrenals, when they reach 50, 55, their adrenals are shot, they're exhausted. You know, they wake up in the morning and they're tired. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon, they're tired and their adrenals are tired. So we put our patients on adrenal hormones and or adaptogens. It just so happens the best hormones that boost your adrenals are testosterone and progesterone for women. It's amazing when I give you natural, micronized progesterone and the bioidentical testosterone in cream, usually, or pellet, it's amazing how women do amazing. They feel, they say, I have a, so many women say, I feel like I'm 20 again. I have one lady who's 70, she runs marathons and she keeps up with the 20 year olds. And she goes to uh, the store with her son and he's saying, mom, and people look at her and say, mom, you're his mom, and they're, they're amazed because here's a lady 70 years old, but she looks like she's about 40. Uh, do we need a special doctor to get us on those kinds of well, hormones? I, because I, I just did blood work, yes. and it's like, here's your range. What you're saying today that I loved is there, there's a range, but there's something that's optimal. Yes. Like, like not just Correct. being a range, Tammy. So I've, I've gotten that blood work, and here's where your range is, and everything's tanking. Your hormones are tanking. <laughs> <laughs> so great. So how do I fix that? Well, where do I go to find a doctor that will actually look at all those hormones and yes. make sure they're balanced, not and, just and again, the one? Yes, very good question. I talk about it in the book where, they can, where you can go to find a doctor, like worldhealth.net. Or you can go, I tell about different doctors that can do pellets in there. So if you want okay. to do pellets or creams yeah. or trochees or sublingual tabs, you can do that. But uh, unfortunately, most doctors just give a little dabble, do you? Yes, and yes. They, they, and what's happening, now here's what's happening. We have so many uh, xenoestrogens, pesticides on our food. We have so many hormone disruptors in our uh, shampoos and lotions and creams and perfumes that are blocking hormone levels, lowering testosterone, lowering or sometimes raising, sometimes lowering estrogen, lowering thyroid hormones, mm -hmm. that these are, are what we call uh, hormone disruptors. And so because of this, the hormone levels of so many people are getting lower and lower, the ranges. Yeah. And so like men, like a few years ago, the normal for testosterone was around 348 to almost 1200. Now it's gone down to 250 to 916, I believe. So again, it keeps going lower and lower because men's testosterones are tanking. Mm -hmm. Well, women's are tanking too, and also their thyroids. Yes. And what happens with thyroid, you go to your doctor, and they usually just do one test for your thyroid, which is TSH, or thyroid stimulating hormone. Yeah. That's a pituitary hormone. The most accurate test to measure your thyroid is to run a, now I run a battery, but I do the TSH, I do the free T3, sometimes I'll do a reverse T3, sometimes I'll do thyroid antibodies, 
And the free T3 is the active thyroid hormone. That's the hormone that gets inside the cell. That's the hormone that makes your hands warm, your feet warm. Mm. So many people, I can walk in a room, I can check their temperature and see it's below 98. I can shake their hands, it's like an icicle. Yes. Feel their toes, they're like icicles. Yes. I say, oh my gosh, your thyroid's sluggish. And yes. I check their thyroid levels and their TSH is normal, yet their free T3 is sluggish or low normal. I say, you have a sluggish thyroid. They say, do I have a low thyroid? No, you don't have a low thyroid. You have a sluggish thyroid. Now, what happens, most doctors will not put a patient on natural thyroid. They will not use the, uh, the desiccated thyroid, the natural desiccated thyroid. They will use Synthroid yes. or the synthetic level thyroxine. That does nothing to raise the free T3 that gives you the energy, the warmth, the vitality, uh, the moist skin, the nice thick hair, the hair starts falling out, you get that old uh, fine thyroid hair. Wow. And that's from just an under, a sluggish thyroid. Now, a sluggish thyroid does it, a low thyroid, but doctors will not treat you for low, uh, for sluggish thyroid unless it's low. Why and then they, they give not... you the wrong medicine. Right, but why are they not doing it? Like, I literally have a thyroid issue. Yeah. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's small. <laughs> small problem. <laughs> small problem. Yes, but it's there. And well, let me feel your hands. Let me feel. You're going to... Oh, girl, they're freezing. icicles. Yes. Are your toes? Are my, your toes? My toes oh, are my the goodness, same. girl, they're icicles. Yes, and I, it's because I have a problem with my three, my free three. They're your free teeth. They're only testing for the four, and you, I'm, I'm okay, so Okay, you got to find a doctor that. that'll do that. I have one coming up. Find an anti-aging doctor that practices anti-aging medicine. Yes. Go to worldhealth.net. Yep. Find one and say, I want natural desiccated thyroid. Yes. Two key hormones that give you energy that are absolutely amazing. Well, I should say three, but two most important. Number one, the natural desiccated thyroid. Okay. Number two, testosterone. And number three, an adrenal rebuilder. I put most of my patients on those three, and the difference in the energy is amazing. One of the biggest complaints I see in my practice is fatigue. Oh. And it especially hits around 40 when the testosterone domino falls. It gets, it gets worse at 45 when the progesterone domino falls. And then when the estrogen falls and the old lady hormone, estrone, takes over, then all of a sudden these, these women are miserable. They come with all this belly fat, mm. sagging skin. And, they say, and this one lady, she was 48, she was crying, says, mm. something's happening. I got all this belly fat. Mm. My breasts are sagging like pancakes like <laughs> flapjacks and she says what's the matter with me i put her on a little hormone pellet and she was having horrible night night sweats hot flashes put on a little testosterone a little estradiol protect her breasts with dim diendomethane from broccoli of course i got a mammogram first yeah. and then i pulled her out of this next time i saw her she was ecstatic she says i've got my figure back she says my belly fat's going i've got my energy back i feel great i feel like a young woman again i feel like an old lady yes okay so <laughs> we hear about this a lot with women and because it's, yes. it's a big issue but you know how the internet's really smart yeah uh, and <laughs> like i am at an age where the mm -hmm. internet knows my age and i'm getting <laughs> ads for you got a low t or you right. got like, I'm like yeah. how do you you know what this is an issue that men have right. to deal with as well oh absolutely what do we need to know well, with low T, first of all, what happens is low libido. Their libido goes out the door. And then they lose their strength, their stamina, and they become what we call grumpy old men. <laughs> so there is one old lady in grumpy old men. That makes me happier. You got your own. <laughs> they become a grumpy old man with no energy. All they want to do is get home from work and sit on the couch, and they fall asleep. And you check their testosterone, and it's in the tank. And mm -hmm. usually what happens is these men have a big belly. The more belly fat you have, generally the lower the testosterone goes and the higher the estrogen goes. We have the men that are in their 50s with higher estrogen than their 50-year-old wives. Mm. Wow. And then uh, <laughs> also what happens is these men are bone tired. And when, when you get out of bed and you've had a good night's sleep and you're bone tired, you either have sleep apnea or you got low T. Mm. Men that are diabetic, most all diabetic men, type 1, type 2, have low T. Mm. It goes with diabetes. If you're on meds, if you're taking statin meds, Crestor, Lipitor, Atorvastatin, Rosuvastatin, those lower testosterone. Blood pressure meds lower testosterone. What? Mm. ACE inhibitors do, Lysinopril, Prenovil, Zestrel, as well as beta blockers lower it. And those are your, two of the main blood pressure meds. They're lowering your testosterone levels. Benadryl lowers testosterone levels. Really? SSRIs lower testosterone levels. Jeez. And so there's so many meds that lower testosterone, and, and people are saying, I don't understand why my testosterone's yeah. low. It's yeah, because yeah. they're taking meds that are lowering, especially statin drugs. Okay, so clearly 
a good place to start is, is with a doctor if you've got serious symptoms. Yes. Now, but yes. are there some general lifestyle, easy changes, dietary changes that we could maybe implement or that don't require a big medical intervention? Oh, absolutely. Once you lose belly fat, get moving, correct your adrenals, start sleeping, correct sleep apnea, correct your sugar, and then we take we put patients on testosterone boosters. I have a wonderful testosterone booster that's just uh, Divine Health Testosterone Zone. You take three in the morning, and so many young men, especially, their testosterone comes right back up, their libido comes back, their energy comes back, and so they don't have to use testosterone. Many of them don't, but once they're over 60, yeah, they probably want some testosterone. Okay. It works better in shot or pellet form. But we have these new creams. Some men say, I hate shots. We just use little teeny needles so it doesn't hurt. <laughs> we don't use harpoons. <laughs> and then also we have these new creams that have tremendous absorption. So if men hate shots, we just put them on a little testosterone behind their knee and it brings their level almost up to as good as a shot. Huh. So it works great with no pain. Yeah, just rub yeah. it on in the morning. That's uh, it. I'm, I'm all for creams <laughs> over shots. I'm not oh, I know. Guy. I hate needles. <laughs> yes. Now this is all in the book. Yes, it's all in the book. All that because hormone optimization is absolutely critical if you want to have the energy, the stamina, the vitality, and the longevity. Mm -hmm. Because as we age, more and more people just get worn out and they just eventually they don't move, mm -hmm. they don't get out. And the less you move, the poorer the circulation becomes. See, exercise literally prevents every disease, especially mm -hmm. Alzheimer's and heart disease. And so that's why. This hormone optimization will give you the energy to get out and start exercising, living again, enjoying life again. This might seem like an obvious question, mm -hmm. but the place to start with that, if people do have questions, would that be like to find a place that will do great blood work? Do you find a lot of these problems within your blood? Like, oh yes, absolutely. So all of there, these in your check blood. It all sure. Out, check out where your levels right. are. Find See somebody you, that will yeah, order right. all of those tests for you to have. Yes, if you're have, if you're a man and you have decreased stamina, decreased strength, fatigue, you're grumpy when you get home from work. You just want to sit in the house. You're irritable, grumpy all the time. You're exhausted when you sleep and you have no libido, you have ED, then you most likely have either low or sluggish testosterone levels, and you'll probably benefit from optimizing your testosterone. Yeah. Instead of being at 250, which now is normal, but those men at 250, now if you're a young man at 250, you can forget it. You're going to be exhausted. You're not, it's going to be hard to achieve anything in life with work. Mm -hmm. You're not going to have the competitive edge. You're not going to have the energy to get ahead, and plus you're not going to have the libido and the strength that you need. Mm -hmm. and, and if you're 50 with that age, you're gonna lose your competitive edge, you're not gonna be, uh, you're not gonna have the energy to succeed many times in work. Mm -hmm. So we wanna get these levels optimized. And you say, what's optimized? I like to get the level up around 750 for most of my men, even up to 900 to 1,000 for a lot of them, in, because I check not only total testosterone, free testosterone. Free testosterone like free T3 is the testosterone gets inside the cell. If their free testosterone is low, they're going to have low, low T symptoms, see? Mm. And so also if their sex hormone binding globulin is high, then it's going to bind their testosterone so it can't get inside the cell. 60% mm. of our testosterone is bound to a protein called sex hormone binding globulin. When it's bound, it can't enter the cell. The good thing about it is about 38% is bound to uh, albumin. And if you take the supplement DIM, diendomethane, 150 milligrams twice a day in men, it literally releases that testosterone from the albumin so it can ins enter inside the cell. So I've got all these tricks in the book <laughs> wow, that help yes. you. Okay. So There uh, is hope. There's much hope. There <laughs> is so much hope, Dr. Dunn. There is so much hope. I'm so grateful for that. It, it gives me hope to want to align my body, to find order in my body, to find the right balance. We want to make sure to send this to you today. You're going to want this. You don't just need it. You're going to want this in your life. Everything that we're talking about is in this book. So it's hard to kind of remember it, write it down, but it's all in here. So we want to send this to you. And how we're going to do that is if you're able today to partner with us, come alongside us in this mission that we have, water. We talked to Dr. Don about water and how important it is. We want to bring hope to people right now around the world that don't have even the necessity of clean drinking water. Take a minute and watch this. This scene plays out millions of times every day in developing countries around the world a mother taking her child to collect water for their family. Marie used to make this same trip with three of her other children, but that is no more. 
Isabela, you come with Jamala to forget to have that wrong Hamadi made Sakugira. Nani, you need to have an avanzema. You couldn't have known by Menga. Although the names change, the stories are the same for mothers like Therese, who lost two children to a waterborne disease. Marta, who still grieves from her loss of two children, sums up the fears and desperation of all the mothers in this area. <laughs> That's what breaks my heart. They have no other option, nowhere else to go. They will dig and dig and dig to try to find fresh, clean water, and they just can't get there. It's underneath their feet, but they need help. And we can help them. We can help them get that water. We can come in here, and we can drill a well that would change everything for these children, these mothers, for the rest of their lives. I'm asking you to believe with me for that change. Please, would you join with me would you give the best gift that you could give that could change everything for them today? The effects that water brings, life and death. When I listen and, and, and I hear them talking about they don't know how many more might die, they don't know how they'll make it through, and it's all because of water. You know, I woke up yesterday feeling sick and the only thing I could put in my body was water that actually I knew was healthy for me. I knew that it would make me feel better, but I had access to whatever I needed. I had access to not just water, but water that was balanced even for my body. I had everything I needed and it's helping me to even get better today and feel better today. But when I look at a piece like that and I see those children that are literally dying because of what they're drinking and they don't have any other choice. They're feeling sick, they're bloated, they have stomach issues, they have gut issues, and they need clean drinking water to turn this around, just as it did for my life today. We can be a part of that. We can help these families all over the world turn this around by something so, so simple, like drilling a water, going in that village and drilling them a water that will give them life and life more abundantly. Randy, we've been doing it for years. We've been putting in, I think we put in now like 8,000 wells around the world since yeah. we started this ministry. Yeah, that's right. It's that's incredible. Right. We want to do another 350 this year, and I believe mm -hmm. we can do that. Yes, we can with your help. Uh, and you said a word, Tammy that is key, you said access. Yeah. And that's really what it comes down to, you see, because when we go into these villages and we drill that water well and we bring it up, and by the way, we build these fabulous wells. They're, they're encased, it, they're, we're going all the way down to the, the clean water, which not everybody does. Yeah. It, changes their lives completely we've seen it we've, we've seen, seen it. it we've it, been there their health turns around and yes. it turns around yes, quickly so does. look here's what we're asking you to do today uh, and, and by the way with any gift you can request dr colbert's health zone essentials it will put you on a pathway to better health a gift of 75 dollars you can request the whole bundle but we want you to consider being a part of putting a well into the ground to change the lives of thousands of people. In fact, the average well costs about $4,800, and that will serve about 1,000 people for about 70 years, we say a lifetime, right? So if, if some of you, you can give an entire well. Dr. Colbert has been a wonderful supporter of the, this outreach for many years, and we, we appreciate him being a part of that. But your gift of $4,800 today will provide a well. It will change the lives of thousands of people. You will save lives. Now, most of you can't give an entire well. I get that. Your gift of $48 will, in essence, provide clean drinking water for a lifetime for 10 people. There's a wide range. My prayer is that whatever you can do, you, you will do something today. Because when we all come together, that's when we hit this goal or even exceed this goal of 350 wells in 20 nations. When we do this, we are giving love and life to people and we always do it in the name of Jesus. This is not just a humanitarian outreach, this is a spiritual mm -hmm. outreach. Mm -hmm. So will you go online or go to the phones right now, make the best gift you can. Request Dr. Colbert's materials, we wanna help you. 
But most importantly, let's share the love of Christ and give water for life. Every day, thousands of lives are lost to waterborne disease, and nearly half of those are children under the age of five. Through Mission Water for Life, you can give mothers hope and children a future as we provide clean, life-giving water for thousands of children and their families before it's too late. With your gift today, you can help drill and establish 350 water wells this year. Your gift of $24 will help provide clean water for five children. A gift of $48 will provide for 10, $72 will provide for 15, and $144 will help provide life-giving water for 30 people for a lifetime. With your gift of any amount, we'll send you Dr. Don Colbert's Health Zone Essentials, a roadmap to living a long, healthy, and energized life. With your gift of $75 or more, we'll also send you the Health Zone Bundle, which includes Dr. Colbert's Healthy Gut Zone Cookbook, filled with advice and his favorite recipes to guide you on your healing journey, as well as his special DVD, Stretch Your Way to Better Health. Gain flexibility, mobility, and balance through daily stretching techniques. Finally, please consider a gift of $1,200 to help provide water for 250 people or a gift of $4,800 to help sponsor a complete well and request our new bronze sculpture, A Cup of Water, inspired by Jesus' words in Mark 941. Please call, write, or make your gift online today. Hey, Dr. Don Colbert here. Did you realize that contaminated drinking water is one of the leading causes of death and disease throughout the world? Clean drinking water is absolutely essential to good health. That's why I've joined with Life Today in helping to drill water wells throughout the world. We've been partners for years, and I encourage you to do the same. Give the gift of clean, healthy water. God bless you. Thank you. Let's be hope to them today. I know that we can do it and we can do it together. Look for any gift that you're able to give. We want to send you Dr. Don's book, Health Zone Essentials. It will change your life. And for $75 or more, we're going to send you the whole bundle. Yeah. There's a cookbook. There's a stretch DVD, which I probably need because I'm a bad stretcher. <laughs> so we'll send you the whole thing. But thank you so much for giving. It means a lot to us, Dr. Don. Oh, my goodness. I have loved it today. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you. I'm so excited because there's just simple yes. little things people can do. It's not hard. It's so easy. Yes. But once you start doing it, literally you watch your health spring forth rapidly. Yes. And you know, I think that's key sometimes is just getting started. That's mm -hmm. right. And that's why we want you to pick up the books. It will get you started to better health. We appreciate you being here. We'll see you again next time on Life Today. Dr. Don Colbert's Health Zone Essentials can help all aspects of your wellness by looking at the whole person tomorrow on Life Today. Life Today is made possible by the supporters of Life Outreach International. Your gift will be used exclusively for the exempt purposes of life. The ministry features specific outreaches as examples of the programs it supports and conducts. Gifts are considered to be without restriction as to use unless explicitly stipulated by the donor. The ministry is a member of the ECFA.